So what are we talking about? How to, how to make yourself better? We're talking about saving kids. We're talking about uh, changing the world. Well, let's talk about something important. Hey, put that iPhone down. <laughs> iPhones are for closers only. You think I'm fucking with you? You think I'm fucking with you? I am not fucking with you. I drove down here from Tulsa, and I'm here on a mission of mercy. The good news is you all suck at playing Monopoly. The bad news is I only have four and a half minutes to change that. Now, some of you might think that Monopoly is some endless childhood game of chance. Not only would you be wrong, but you would be a naive moron. Monopoly is a game of strategy and skill that requires the type of killer instinct that allows you to pull the still beating heart out of your opponent's chest and eat it while they look on. This, the Monopoly board, this is where greatness happens. The first thing you need to understand about Monopoly is that it's graded on a curve, and like all things that are graded on a curve, there are two ways to improve your position. Most folks only focus on improving your own performance, but to dominate, you have to understand how to decrease the performance of others. Everything you do in Monopoly needs to be driven by one of these two objectives. So let's talk tactics. Domination tactic number one. Know the rules, love the rules, live the rules. Monopoly losers think they know the rules because of some game they made up when they were a kid that happened to be played on a Monopoly board. Winners play the game as dictated by the official Monopoly rules. No, you don't get anything for laying enough free parking. Of course you pay interest on a mortgage. Leverage your knowledge of the rules to throw your opponent off balance. Domination tactic number two. Focus on in getting the first improved monopoly. Now by improved, I mean you're buying houses. Generally speaking, the first color group on the board to get at least three houses on every property is the favorite to win. Take their money before they take yours. Domination tactic number three. Collect exactly one property from as many color groups as possible. This is a defensive strategy. It's designed to prevent your opponent from getting monopolies. If you've got one, they can't get all three. Decrease the performance of others. Domination tactic number four. Be quick to mortgage to enable tactics number two and three. Properties you acquire defensively will earn you way more money in mortgage than it'll ever earn you in rent. And at 10%, mortgage is cheap money, especially in this economy. Domination tactic number six, <laughs> leverage the building shortage. Oh no, <laughs> if you don't need property, stay in jail as long as you can. <clears throat> Sure, early in the game when their properties to acquire, pay to get out of jail. But late in the game, staying in jail will rob your opponent of the opportunity to take your money. Domination tactic number six, leverage the building shortage. This is the most underused tactic by most Monopoly losers. In Monopoly, there are exactly 32 houses and 12 hotels. If all 32 houses are on the board, you have a building shortage, and nobody can improve their properties. If there are no houses in the bank, your opponent can't build houses. They can't build houses, they can't build hotels. By selling a few of your hotels for four times as many houses, you can artificially create a building shortage uh, that can suck the air out of your opponent's world. <laughs> Domination tactic number seven. <laughs> Concentrate on ROI, not prestige, with the exception of park place and boardwalk. The return on investment of improved properties actually decreases as you move around the board. High rent properties are for losers. They cost you more, they earn you less. Domination tactic number eight, green is for suckers. The worst properties on the board are the green properties. They have the highest cost of building, the lowest return on investment. Sure, buy one defensively and sell it for cash or mortgage it for cash, and then a pinch, you trade it for a sucker and let him waste his money on trying to improve it. Domination tactic number nine, work the hit rates. Not all properties get landed on with equal probability. The most likely properties to be landed on are the orange properties and the red properties. Either monopolize those properties or prevent your opponent from doing so. Domination, domination tactic number 10, prefer property to money. Never, never pass on the opportunity to acquire a property for the sole purpose of hoarding money. You don't win the game by holding cash, you win it by taking everybody else's through your property holdings. And that's it. That's everything that you need to know to dominate in the game of Monopoly. Increase your own performance. Decrease the performance of others. And remember, A, B, C. A, always, B, B, C, closing. Always be closing, always be closing. Your spouse, your grandma, your kids, their Monopoly money is just there. The question is, are you man enough to take it?
Losers will tell you that it's more important to have fun than it is to win. The irony is, losers will never have fun because in Monopoly, the only fun is winning. So go out there tonight and have fun!